right boys and girls today I'm going to show you how to install brand new uh, headlight bulbs in your 2006 to 2013 Lexus IS now uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, remove all these covers I'm going to remove this uh, front cover the two side covers and the engine cover I'm just going to take them all off and uh, honestly I'm going to spray them all down with a hose and clean them up too while I'm doing this but uh, so to do this, as you can see, I just I just uh, removed these two. Instead of trying to pop them out with a flathead screwdriver or something, just um, push them in in the middle, and they'll pop and they'll get loose. So yeah, just go around, and uh, that's all you gotta do. I don't know um, because this is the facelifted one. I don't know if the pins on the non-facelifted one are like this, but for mine, all I have to do is just. Oh, this one doesn't want to pop. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I just gotta push all these in, right, until they pop. It looks like there's also some screws, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. Okay, that one's not, that one does not wanna pop. Okay, everything besides this one popped. Let's see, let's see if we can get it. It's almost, in, all right. Well, I'm gonna have to cut the tape and uh, do that two-handed, but I'll be right back with the covers on. Alright, so I got the front cover off and uh, I was going to remove this cover right here first and uh, I just want to show you guys one thing I saw. Um, there is a screw on this one over here. Uh, it looks like a flathead screwdriver would work, but yeah, there's one pin here and uh, there's a screw in there that you're going to have to take out. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I take these covers off. Alright guys, so uh, I've taken off the main engine cover and the uh, entire left side. Or passenger side and the front one. I've left the uh, driver side one on for now, but uh, so and I've cleaned it up a little bit as you can see. But so uh, the next step is to unlatch. There's four latches around this. Uh, I think it's an air filter. You just want to pop all four of them off. Finally, there's a fourth one back here, right? And uh, you want to undo this wiring here and unclip it from this little uh, bracket back here, and. Uh, I'm gonna do that with two hands and cut the clip because I don't really want to touch any of the electronics one-handed But uh, yeah after that, I'll show you the next step All right, so literally two seconds later. I just unplugged this and uh, like I said, I uh, Unclipped it from here. I'm just gonna tuck it in right here for now. And now the next step is to uh, basically remove this box and uh, Move it over because the headlight is right where that little uh, yellow sticker is and uh, while you're doing this, I just want to—I just want you guys to know that there is a hose right here. It might get disconnected uh, while you're moving this around, but just if it does, make sure um, to put it back in because you kind of need that. And uh, another thing I ran into when I was doing this, because I just put it back on, is uh, this clip right here would go down like that and uh, kind of latch onto the bottom part, and it wouldn't let this box move. So uh, I figured out that this clip is kind of long and likes to like it yeah as you can see clip to the bottom ridge of that right there so make sure that's not holding it back but other than that uh, once everything's disconnected uh, go ahead and pull this up and uh, move it over so you have more space to get to the headlight and uh, I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, I'll come back all right so again literally like two seconds later I just pulled this up really carefully and uh, I'm gonna pull it back to about here um, yeah, I think it's better to go this way towards the car than away from it. And then, as you can see inside, um, you can see your engine air filter. Uh, I'm just going to take that out real quick, right? Go ahead and put that to the side. And uh, then, you're going to just want to re uh, remove this box. So it's way later at night. <laughs> and, and the reason it's way later at night is because... Uh, once I took off this uh, little top piece to the engine air filter and took the filter out I realized that uh, Well, basically there's three bolts that we still have to remove and then after that we're pretty much done the Three bolts are this one right here. Not that one. This one. Okay um, There's one right up here and then uh, We want to take this piece off which kind of just feeds the air into the uh, air filter um, for whatever reason, most ISs are actually missing this one, and uh, they only come with this. I haven't seen one with uh, both of them on, but yeah. 
So we're gonna take these three screws off and we should have access to the headlight. But the reason it took me so long is because these screws are super, or these bolts are way down in there and my ratchet uh, would not fit in there. So I had to go out and buy an extension piece. I'll make sure to put a little warning at the beginning, but uh, you do need an extension to go down there. Okay guys, so I just unbolted all three of the screws. I would take it out and uh, rinse it out with the with the hose, but as you can see, it is connected to whatever wiring this is. So really, all you want to do is just um, swing it over a little bit. It was like this. We're just going to pick it up and swing it up a little bit so we have more access to this. Um, this is uh, pretty much the last step. This is where the headlight's at. All you want to do is uh, there's this silver... I don't even know what you would call it. There's just this silver uh, piece. You just want to push it forward, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, you just want to swing that forward, pop it out. Be careful. And uh, yeah, so this door will pop right open. Yeah. So after that, um, you can see the harness. I just took the harness off. Um, you can see. You can see the light bulb right back there. It just connects onto the light bulb like this. All I did was I, um, I twisted it clockwise, I guess you could say. I twisted it like this, and uh, it was really easy. wasn't hard at all, and it popped right off. And uh, right back there is your light bulb. Right, so this is going to be a little tricky to record. But hopefully you guys can see there, there's two pins that look like they're holding in the light bulb. Uh, this is kind of hard to... Uh, show but those two pins really if you push them back i was trying to like pull them forward and move them around that little track in there i don't know how well you guys can see it there but uh when you're doing it just push these two pins back okay and uh they'll pop right off it's a lot easier than trying to pull them forward so when you're doing it again just pop them back and they move around freely and then just swing them around this uh this track it's it, the pin was around here i pushed it back and then swung it around this track and it unlocked. And uh, the second you do that, the light bulb just uh, pops out freely. So now we can just, well, let's see, we can swing those little nuts around and there it is, there's our light bulb. So now we can throw this away and plug in the new one. Okay guys, and uh, for this, oh, it doesn't wanna focus now. I am going to be replacing what was in here. Um, they were Osram bulbs. I don't know if that's factory, but that's what my Lexus had in it. Okay. And I'm going to be replacing it with the Garrix uh, D4S 6000K bulbs. Uh, these were highly recommended by everybody on Club Lexus and all the forums, so I'm just taking their word for it. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll do a little um, comparison with uh, this in the passenger side and. Uh, the Osram ones, I guess, that's still in here on the driver's side. You guys can see the differences and all that. But uh, again, that'll be at the end for the people that care about um, bulbs. For the people that have already bought bulbs and are just looking for installation, uh, just keep on watching. So when we're installing, uh, I guess the first thing I want to tell you guys is uh, if this is your first time installing a light bulb, never ever ever touch the glass, the glass portion of the light bulb because the oils in your finger will get on that bulb and it gets super super hot when it's running and those oils will end up uh, reducing the lifespan of the bulb so it's really important to either use um, really clean gloves or just don't touch the glass part whatsoever and so um, you gotta be really careful and just slide it back in there I really don't want it to um, hit anything you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the tape and I'm gonna just slide it in there and then all you're gonna want to do is slide it in there just like you pulled the last one out and twist it to lock it in place and then um, put those two brackets back on that we pulled out uh, pulled off those silver ones and uh, it's it's pretty simple so yeah I'm just gonna do that real quick and then uh, start it back up again okay so I have just uh, put everything back together um, one thing that I learned when I was doing that, I said in the last little clip that I recorded that I was going to pop the light bulb in and twist it to uh, put it in place. That light bulb is actually loose. There's nothing in there that holds that light bulb together. So like when you when you push that light bulb in there, there's nothing on the inside of that cylinder that that 
latches onto that light bulb. So I was I was sitting here for like five minutes trying to twist it, going like, what the heck, man? It's not catching on to anything, and it's because there's actually nothing in there that catches onto that light bulb. The only thing that holds that light bulb in place are those two clips at the back of it. So what I ended up doing is putting it in there with that little uh, beam piece. Let me show you. I pushed it in there um, with this little beam piece, the igniter, I'm pretty sure it is, uh, facing down, and I just put it in there, in there like that. And then um, I clipped those two silver back pieces in there to hold it in place. And then, um, uh, I, for I already forgot what it's called. Um, the harness. The harness then basically just twists onto it and latches on to these two points right here. Uh, and it does not matter um, how, like the orientation of the bulb doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how it's twisted or whatever. Just make sure it goes in there and then clamp it down with those two silver things, twist the harness back on, and you're golden. And now what I'm gonna do real quick is uh, easy stuff. I'm gonna put that freaking door back on that hurt, that like, busted my hand, okay. Then we're gonna swing this little metal thing that swivels back on it to hold it in place, right? I'm not going to screw any of this stuff in. I'm just going to throw the cabinet filter in and uh, put this back on top. Or that's not cabinet filter, engineer filter. And uh, I'm going to do a little test between the two headlights, uh, that which I'm going to put at the end of this video. And uh, if you guys want to do that yourself and see the comparison, um, when you start up your car, make sure this is connected because if not, I heard a lot of people get a lot of error codes and stuff. And uh, I don't know if they go away or if you have to go to the dealer to get them removed or whatnot. But just prevent all that. Uh, plug plug all this back in, and uh, you're golden. So yeah, I'm gonna put the filter in, all that stuff, and then uh, record a little before and after against uh, this garage door. Put the garage door and everything. So yeah. All right. So uh, I've put everything back together. The only thing that's left, honestly, now is to put the uh, covers back on, but this uh, passenger side is completely done. This box, okay, this box took me freaking forever. It took me 40 minutes to get this whole box together. My advice to you, because I nailed this back, or I screwed this down and then forgot about this and tried putting this on and it wouldn't work. So my advice to you is to set both of these down together and align all their bolts uh, together and screw them down, it's much easier than trying to do one at a time, like this first, then that, or that first, then this. Just slide both of them into each other and then line up their bolt, uh, their bolt holes and uh, bolt them down. And uh, it should be way smoother than what I had to do. But so now I'm gonna fire up the car and record some video of uh, the headlights up against the garage door so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so here's the video of uh, the lights output. You guys can see uh, the left side is the normal one and the right side is the one I just put in. Um, let's look at it in the front. I did take some pictures. You can see uh, this one, the passenger one, this one, the passenger one has a tint of blue to it. It's a 6000K bulb. And this is the one that was already in it. Um, it was an Osram one. So I'm assuming the previous owner actually replaced whatever the OEM one was, but uh, there you guys go, you can see the Garrix 6000K. Okay guys, so now that I got the uh, passenger light in, I'm gonna start on the driver's side. It's the same deal as it was on the passenger side with that passenger cover. Let me get my light the mic. Um, there's bolts all over the place, I took them out. The little push-in ones, you wanna push them in, pop them out. There's one here that I forgot, okay. And just like that other side had a screw in that corner, um, this one also has a plastic screw type thing that you're gonna have to unscrew. But other than that, it comes right off. So uh, I'm gonna take that right off and uh, yeah. All right, so guys, uh, I just uh, got the cover off. I cleaned stuff, I cleaned a little bit of the stuff off. Uh, that was underneath, you guys can see. See this nice black all around. I uh, cleaned it up with some degreaser. But so now uh, to get to this headlight, it's way easier than that one. All we're gonna do is unscrew this right it should be a 10 millimeter socket normally like all the other ones were but i guess the previous owner messed with this lost it and put a random screw in here so mine's an actual screw that i'm gonna have to take out with a screwdriver and uh 
you can kind of see it's basically just like a long funnel. It just, it just, uh, it's gonna come right out, and then uh, it should be uh, an easy ticket right into the headlight. We should see the, that same little door. Maybe you guys can see it right there. Yep, that little, you see it? That little yellow sticker. It's the door to the, to the headlight, and we're just gonna do what we did on the other side, and that's it. So. Let me unscrew this real quick and I'll show you how it uh, disassembles and uh, yeah. Okay guys, I, uh, I just unscrewed it real quick and uh, this is how it comes off. Just like that. And there's the door, it's the same kind of mechanism, you know, you slide that freaking thing off. The little mouse trap looking thing, make sure not to get your hand caught in it. And uh, just replace the bulb like I did. On the other side, make sure to clean this up. As you can see, it's got a bunch of grime on it. I'm gonna definitely spray mine down with the hose, replace the bulb, and that's it. I'm not gonna do that, because, uh, or I'm not gonna record that part though, because that's pretty redundant, and uh, you guys get the idea. But yeah, I'll uh, put that bulb in and uh, you know record uh, the car with uh, both the bulbs uh, changed. All right, guys. So that's how you install uh, headlight bulbs in a Lexus IS. If this helped you, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the cars I got going on this channel and want to see more of them, uh, make sure to subscribe. See ya.